Hi Aquarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of June uh, 2020 and we are already in the energy of Cancer. Okay, so I'm going to keep the spiel until the end of the video. So if you would like to know the updates or news, then please listen at the end of the video. I would like to keep the introduction a little bit shorter than normal. Okay, uh, there are some changes, so I'm giving you a warning. But thank you very much for your likes and your sharing. Very much appreciate it. And welcome back my cyber angels. And I hope you enjoy the readings. And remember this is a general reading. Uh, so if it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And for the new people, welcome back and please subscribe and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified. Let's start off with the reading. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The Querent card or the overall energy. And I'm also using the not only the Shadowlands, but also the House of Shadow, the um, mystical shaman deck, a card, a postcard from Spirit and the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. First of all, we start with the uh, King of Swords. Okay, Aquarius, I know you're an air sign, but the King is of Swords is Gemini. So you might be dealing or asking help from a Gemini or meeting a Gemini. But don't forget, um, you are air, so I would not forget you or Libra either. You see that the king is writing here. Perhaps you are writing your memoirs or tasks at hand or signing contracts, uh, perhaps for a new job or you have to do with uh, legalities like buying a house or writing a letter to the authorities, the income tax office. Perhaps you might seek um, uh, uh, advice from this man it, this could be a doctor, anybody that uh, cuts a surgeon or a dentist or um, that um, because the swords stand for wisdom and uh, honesty, clarity, uh, justice. So you might be dealing with an advocate or a social worker or a career advisor or a teacher because of the wisdom, knowledge okay or communication or perhaps somebody that does presentations as well or you might be doing the uh, writing down your presentation so you won't forget so that is the energy to start off with all over or you might be doing that or meeting one of these people then on Monday you have the Knight of Wands the Knight of Wands could be an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. They are bringing you news. Anyway, this could be news about passion, but this could also be other news. Look at the suitcase or the briefcase. This could be official news. Act upon it swiftly and directly, otherwise it will pass you. You must act upon this news swiftly, otherwise it might pass you by and you will lose out. On Wednesday we have the death card. You are in transformation. This is a period of transformation. You are breaking out out of the egg. So there is a new beginning. You are leaving the old and the known behind. The dawn is breaking. You could be meeting a Scorpio as the death card also represents Scorpio. That could be your legal advisor as well or news from the uh, Scorpio with rising uh, fire or moon sign fire. Okay, but you, I think you are in your element because this could be you, but if you are in... Um, but you could meet the Gemini. Okay. On Friday, you have the moon, an other water sign. 
that is Pisces so you could be asking a Pisces for their advice or the Pisces might know who is wearing the mask I do feel this is something to do with um, uh, legalities because somebody might not have been tr faith uh, true true to you and you're trying to get the truth coming out so you might seek somebody advice or a detective even to find out the truth okay now listen to your intuition and your new ideas um, as the um, as the moon uh, also is um, a spotlight uh, it throws light on your path but it's also got a dark side of the moon and that is presented by the mask could be somebody that's wearing a mask but somebody might be very mysterious and you might not know something so you need more information so the moon also illuminates like the sun and the star but keep following that yellow brick road to the north node because you're on the right path something is coming to an ending you've got 18 here and that is a 9 so where there is an ending there is a new beginning and you already knew that because you got the death card there might be more friends coming into your life because you've got number 13 which means fellowship and 1 and 3 becomes 4 so these friends they will be uh, this these friendships will be built on proper foundations as 4 stands for proper foundations make sure you've got all the information though because somebody could be wearing a mask be careful there is red flags here listen to your intuition you've also got the lobster or the crab some call it the crab here so there could be also a cancer involved at the weekend you've got number three you're very creative and you have the three of wands and you see your boat is coming in this could be more friends like I said that could be a Gemini a Scorpio a Pisces a Cancer um, more people coming in okay um, this could be more friends of abundance a ship mean coming in means abundance this could be love this could be uh, money this could be a job because you've got the knight of wands okay and he's lying in this corner and you've got a visitor coming or you're going to visit somebody else again number one new beginning you will be receiving news or perhaps an invitation and this could be to your advantage it might be an invitation to a job interview luck is definitely on your side as you have the clover so abundance is coming in your luck is coming in your money bag will grow again perhaps you lost money through legalities and or in uh, tax returns and you're getting money back that could be the news okay good news now you have the fish it could be something to do with your business because the fish stand for business luck in business and luck at work you can work well in groups but fish do not know their boundaries so let people know what your boundaries are and also get to know what their boundaries are and what they wish and get communication clear clear communication know what others want and let others know what you want especially if you're going to a job interview before signing the contract get clarity from a professional read the small print forewarned is forearmed then you have the anchor and the anchor is yes to a question you are coming home to a safe haven 
and you have put your anchor down so you will stay there until you decide to pick the anchor up you feel safe there you are in your strength you've got number 35 which is an 8 that's the house of money and the house of strength you're in your strength the fish are 34 7 luck is on your side luck is here luck is there luck is coming in but be aware of the news coming in and who is who somebody could be pretending they are from the income tax I'm just saying that hypothetically so be make sure that you see their cri credentials and phone the, the, the tax office up to see whether somebody has come round remember they usually send you a letter saying they wish to see you or they're coming round whatever but make sure that they, the people are say who they are now for the first card we have nourishment you might need knowledge for nourishment perhaps you nourishment is not only eating healthy and um, eating sensibly and going to bed at the right time not burning the candle at both sides but nourishment you you might be you might want to stimulate your mind because you're an air sign you need nourishment you need food for thought you've got number seven a seven here double numbers okay there's double numbers have been coming in quite a lot uh, in the readings this week okay sorry nourishment I'm going to put the card like that and nourishment is number seven and this is the waxing crescent the waxing moon choose to nourish your mind body and spirit feed your values when you are jealous or envious it is a sign of what you are actually hungering for pay attention pay attention here as well pay attention to your health okay pay attention to your health don't get stressed out seek help from the doctor if you need to if you don't feel very bright or energetic and you feel quirky then go to the doctor the next card is unlock your magic unlock your magic okay I'm going to read that now dearest you going to the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards now is the time for you to act to stir up some energy and put those plans into action so take care of your health and your well-being if you are going to work overtime there are many windows of opportunity that open but close quickly there you go when you don't take the risk and go for it today be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome it might turn out even better than you expected isn't that amazing remember however much work you are willing to put in we will match it tenfold on our end every one over here is rooting for you to win the game of life so just do it loving you so so much there you are tenfold your boats are coming in now you've got the sorcerer we already had the word magic this is the source of dark power the sorcerer represents the destructive aspect of the human psyche and the self-centered behavior that harms others it symbolizes the unconscious beliefs 
and ideas that foster separation, conflict and scarcity. Be careful of legalities. Like I said, look at the small print. Okay, The invitation or the task with the sorcerer is when the sorcerer enters your circle, you are being called to look at how your beliefs are scarce around scarcity and self-centered fear manifests in your world. Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry or hatred. Perhaps you've harmed someone because of a dark tendency. If so, all is not lost. You have only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You are given a second chance. Correct your course and, and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside you. Make peace with it and choose another way. Okay, so in other words, eat healthily, uh, <coughs> eat healthily, and be careful of somebody wearing a mask. Okay, like I said, heat the red flags. They might, they have a different way, different opinion to you. I'm not saying that you are wrong or that they are wrong. Have an open mind. You don't have to blame anybody. That is how I see it. But overall, Capricorn, you have a beautiful reading. I think this is a message perhaps you've learned from the past. Stay away from people that aren't true. And don't always see the dark side of people, but let them be. You've outgrown them or they have outgrown you. You, uh, not Capricorn, Aquarius, sorry. Um, you are hungering, you're, you need nourishment, you need food for thought, so you're always learning, eager to learn, and it takes time for you to feel at home, but you are at home now. You've sorted it all out if you were in a judicial situation. <sighs> this is heavy, okay, but luck is on your side, okay? And will you win? Yes, you will. But it begins with you. It is your attitude as well that counts. So go ahead. You've got the message from Spirit. Keep on going. You're on the right path. And they will. if you work hard, you will see the results. And they will give you tenfold. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. It's a very strong reading. So take from it what you can, and otherwise have a look at the moon sign or your rising sign. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and I'm going to put out notifications on YouTube under the tab of Community, and I will be putting it out on Facebook and on Instagram. So. If you would like to be notified and YouTube doesn't notify you, then please become a member of YouTube, Instagram or whatever and then you'll find out what time I go live on that day. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like and share and take care and I'll see you in the live or in the next reading. Have a wonderful week and be blessed and set the intention if you wish the healing sessions, the healings that I do, to be passed on to you too. Take care and God bless. Ciao, ciao.